How's it going today everybody and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Do you have a Volvo D13 or D16 with this warning coming up? SCR, performance low, engine will derate in less than 12 minutes. As well as your DPF light flashing. I like it. Scroll down through the warnings and it says parked, regen needed. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a parked regen on these Volvo D13s or D16s. Here we go. You don't need any fancy scan tools or anything to do this. You just do it through the turn signal stock and the instrument cluster. So what you want to do is press escape. And then use your up and down buttons. Go up to after treatment. Press enter, request parked regen, press enter there. Start your engine, and as you can see, parked regen requested. Now just, the idle's going to go up, and just let it do its thing. As you can see, exhaust temperature sign has come on. That means your exhaust temperatures are climbing. It'll stay on for the duration duration of your regeneration. Now as you can see on the instrument cluster, it says it's 515. I've seen these take the better part of an hour to perform. So just let it idle, let it do its thing, and keep an eye around for any you know, dry grass, branches, because the temperatures are going to get quite high and if there's something underneath the vehicle, it could catch fire. So just keep an eye out. Now your DPF is a diesel particulate filter. And what that does is that collects all the soot that comes out of the exhaust. And once your DPF gets to a certain fill level, the computer will enter a regeneration process, which basically burns off all that accumulated soot and cleans out your diesel particulate filter. If it's left to go too long, as you can see here, the light will start flashing, your check sign will come on, and your engine will go into D-rate mode. What that does is that limits your engine power or your vehicle speed down to basically, you know, 5-10 kilometers an hour. Generally these will do a regeneration while you're driving, particularly on the highway tractors, where you got the engine speed up you're driving for a long duration but vehicles like this in town tractor stop and go traffic it never really gets a chance to complete the regeneration so sometimes you have to do a parked regen now while it's performing its regen it's quite normal to see the engine temperature rise as well as your boost pressure now we're just about 40 minutes into the process and the SCR performance low engine and D-rate warning has come on now generally, I don't get too concerned about that while we're doing a regen. If it doesn't go away after the regen's complete, then we'll spend some more time looking into the problem and what's causing it. As you can see here, check warning sign still on. Exhaust temperature sign still on. We're at about 210 degrees and our boost pressure's hanging steady. Okay, our idle has just dropped down to normal. Boost pressure's down to zero. Our check sign is now gone. Our temperature sign's still on, but that should go out once the exhaust cools down a little bit. So I just let it idle until that light has gone out. And an hour and 13 minutes after we started, our exhaust temperature light has gone out, our DPF warning light is out, we have no check engine lights, and our check light has gone out. Now I'll back out of the menu and we can check our messages through our instrument cluster. So just press escape. Escape again. Go down to vehicle messages, press enter, 
no vehicle messages. Which tells us we are no longer in the D-rate mode. Now just to make sure we don't have any other problems, let's go ahead and check the trouble codes, which we can do through the instrument cluster and the turn signal stock as well. So press escape, scroll down to diagnostics, press enter, view active faults, engine ECU, enter. No faults. So now you can just back right out to your regular cluster, shut the engine off, and now your regeneration process is complete and you can return the vehicle to service, knowing that you have no check engine codes and it's not going to derate on you. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. And I definitely hope it helps someone save the cost of a mobile mechanic or taking your vehicle to the dealership. Or worst case scenario, even towing it to the dealership. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when you get new videos coming out. Well that's it for tonight everybody. Have a good night and thanks for watching.